The 747-400 is a long-range intercontinental jet transport with a two-man crew flight deck. Automated systems design reduces crew workload and the integrated displays reduce instrument panel clutter. Winglets are the most visible feature on the 747-400. The result of this wing is a fuel burn reduction from previous 747 models. The airplane overall wingspan is 64.9 meters at maximum gross weight and full fuel. The overall length is 70.7 meters. Maximum takeoff gross weight is 396,893 kilograms. Maximum landing weight is 302,092 kilograms. Usable fuel weight is 163,008 kilograms. The four engines are General Electric CF-6-80 series. Atlas aircraft are equipped with CF-6-80, Charlie, 2, Bravo, 5, Foxtrot engines with equivalent thrust rated at 62,100 pounds each. 747-400 cruises at altitudes of up to 45,000 feet. Maximum speed is 0.92 miles. The curved line represents payload versus range. With full payload, range capability is more than 7,300 nautical miles. Cabin pressure is maintained automatically from sea level to 8,000 feet cabin altitude for passenger and crew comfort. The landing gear system consists of one nose gear with two wheels, two wing gear and two body gear with four wheels each. Carbon brakes offer higher energy capacity and reduce overall weight approximately 900 kilos. A nose cargo door and a cargo door on the left side of the upper fuselage allow access to the main cargo deck. There are three cargo doors on the lower right side of the fuselage serving the bulk, aft, and forward cargo compartments. A flight crew rest area with two bunks is located at the aft end of the upper deck. The flight deck provides six cathode ray tubes, or CRTs, to display flight information, airplane systems, navigation, engine, and crew alerting information. Flight information is shown on the primary flight display, commonly referred to as the PFD. The navigation display, referred to as the ND, displays navigation information. The Electronic Flight Instrument System, or EFIS, is comprised of the primary flight display, PFD, and the navigation display, ND. An engine indicating and crew alerting system, or ICAS, provides engine and airplane systems indications and crew alerting messages on the primary ICAS display, and additional engine and system indications on the secondary ICAS display. ICAS messages are the primary means of crew alerting. These are reinforced with oral alerts and master warning and caution lights. Normally the PFD is displayed outboard with ND inboard on the captain's and first officer's panel. ICAS is displayed on the upper and lower CRTs located on the center panel. The location of a display can be changed to accommodate a CRT malfunction.
Numerous source selectors allow pilots to select the various reference sources. Standby flight instruments provide additional backup. The Flight Management System, or FMS, is the key to the airplane's navigation system. The flight crew uses three FMS control display units, or FMS CDUs, to program the system. Three inertial reference systems provide position information to various airplane systems. The flight management system provides information to the autopilots and autothrottles, which enables the airplane to automatically fly an optimal flight profile. Autoland assures automatic control through approach, touchdown, and rollout. Let's now discuss the push-button switches on the flight deck. There are two types of push-button switches, alternate action and momentary action. These switches control the systems and also display the system status. Alternate action switches have two positions, out or in. When pushed in, the switch is on and remains in the selected position. System operation may be delayed until system logic has been established. When pushed a second time, the associated system is turned off and the switch returns to the out position and remains in the out or off position. When momentary action switches are pushed, they always return to the out position when released. Alternate action switches use a mechanical shutter to display switch position. When the switch is in or on, the mechanical shutter opens and a word or symbol is displayed. When the switch is in the off or out position, the mechanical shutter closes, covering the word or symbol. Momentary action switches have no mechanical shutter. Both alternate action and momentary action switches have integral indicator lights. Indicator lights illuminate to indicate system status. Individual switches and indicator lights are discussed in their respective module. 